1959, Tanata begins ground handling operations at Dubai Airport with just five staff members. Today, Tanata is the world's fourth largest combined air services provider with 20,000 employees in five continents. An amazing journey and time for a new uniform. It's a year ago that we embarked on this journey to, to um, develop and come up with a new uniform. We said we're going to have a, something that everyone would be proud of. Chic, elegant. Head turning in the sense that it made Donata stand out from the crowd. That's important about everything we do. Everything we touch is about quality, high standards. Um, it's about, going to be about service excellence. In May 2011, Initial research took place with staff from across the international network. We conducted focus groups across the business from Donata Operations, Donata Cargo, Donata Travel. We have to get the input of the people who are going to wear this on a daily basis, 24-7, all over the world. We've got different climatic conditions, we've got different environments, we've got different cultures, we've got different nationalities. You put all that together, it's a real, real challenge. Anyone who is interested could get involved in this study, feeding back people's thoughts and feelings about their uniform and the possible designs. Are there things in there that you like or don't like? I don't like it. There's too many buttons. Look at print. Colour blocking. We're really high Through the focus groups, we learned what a lot of the staff needed. So we've engineered the garments so they're comfortable to work in. David showed creativity. He showed us what can be achieved. He showed us things that were very, very different to what we had today. He just has inspiration and he has lots of ideas in making something quite different and making something stand out. A series of wearer trials took place across the network from August to November, testing potential fabrics in every type of workplace and climate. Individual staff wore the test garments to work for weeks on end feeding back data about comfort and durability. The comfort of the fabric was important and the, the fit of the uniform and the flexibility of the uniform. So if we have something which make us comfortable with or without the jacket will be very nice. The ladies really wanted something underneath their jacket that was interesting. You find from the wearer trial that some of the things we hoped would work did work and some of the things needed a little bit of fine tuning. Based on the wearer trial and focus group feedback, the new designs were taking shape. A lot of the detailing in the garments evolved. We looked at the linings, the buttons and thread colours, things like that. 23rd of February 2012, the executive management team get a glimpse of the final prototypes. Colours, design and accessories are discussed and the quality of the production garments approved. Gary likes the man bag. Whew. I was actually blown away. I thought they looked so, so good. Wow. Absolutely fantastic. Work continued unabated as we moved to the manufacturing stage. Factory samples came and went until the desired quality was achieved. Because it's such a wonderful design and a wonderful pattern, to actually reproduce that as a uniform that's worn by thousands of people is a real challenge. With the delivery deadline in sight, a uniform unveiling is set. At this point, it was decided that the models for the new uniform would be actual staff members. We wanted to make the staff feel special. They are the ones that will wear our uniform. They should be the first ones to get to see it. It was important to bring people from all over the network to share our proud moment and to be part of wearing that uniform for the very first time. This is too much. 21st of March 2012. It's D-Day at Design Headquarters in Dubai. In true supermodel style, the Lucky 13 are chauffeur driven to the studio, where they now learn they will be the first staff to view the new uniforms. I hope you're excited about it. When we finish our coffees in a few minutes, we're gonna then go next door and you're gonna see it. They now know that they are here as the first staff to view the uniforms, but there's something they don't know. I'll probably wear that in a night out. Wow, I love it. I want to wear it at home. <laughs> Good quality, hard wearing, but natural fibres. It looks very professional. You I'm very happy. It's excellent. I think it's really nice. I love the bag. I think this is so funky. This I'm in love with. 
It's now time to move on to the next phase of our journey today. I hope that you like what you've seen. So what we're going to do now, we have some hair and makeup artists coming in. They're going to do a makeover for all of you. And then you're all going to be the first people to wear our uniform. Yes. And lights, camera, action. And that's what the rest of your day with us will look like. <laughs> okay. Yeah, with a bit of attitude on my hair. <laughs> I never expected it. it will happen to me. <laughs> this is romantic? <laughs> we don't really have to work too hard because they're already gorgeous. They looked exceptional. They will stand out in a crowd. They look beautiful. They will certainly turn heads. I hope my colleagues will be pleased and delighted with the outcome of this long process. I believe it's a great uniform. I believe it's a head-turning uniform. And I think they'll be delighted to walk through the airport wearing it. Brilliant. That will knock their socks off. Just looks absolutely fantastic. <laughs>